Welcome to Basic Science class. We are discussing the chapter Flower to Flower. In the previous classes, we studied about the importance of flowers, different floral parts and their functions. Okay, now observe these pictures. Okay, you may observe different flowers, but you also notice the organisms that visit the flowers, right? Why these insects, birds and bats visit these flowers? I know that you may say that they are wandering in search of food like nectar, right? So, they are visiting flowers for collecting honey. Is it beneficial for flowers? How they help the plants in turn? Let's think about it. Watch that pictures again carefully. So we studied clearly about the parts of flowers. Now let's discuss how seeds develop from these flowers. We know that male reproductive part of the flower is androecium and it is composed of stamens. Each stamen consists of two parts that is a long filament and anthers. Inside the anthers there are pollen grains are seen. Pollen grains consist of male gamete. Gynecium is the female reproductive part of the flower. It have an ovary elongated style and stigma at its tip. Ovary contains ovules. Ovules are the female gamete. Thus, male and female gametes should join together to form a seed. But pollen grains and ovules are seen separate parts. So how they become close together? There is a process called pollination. It is a process of transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma. This pollen grains from the anthers of androecium gets transferred to the stigma of the gynecium. The living organisms that you are noticed in that video are the living beings 
that helps in this process of pollination. Plants are not capable of doing pollination alone. The organisms or factors that helps the pollination is called pollinating agents. So the insects like butterfly, honeybees, ladybugs, beetles, etc. And the organisms include bats, birds like hummingbird are all examples for pollinating agents. Look at the body of that insect. Its all body is covered by yellowish powdery substance. What is that? It is the pollen grains that are attached to the insects. When it visits another flower, it deposits pollen grains to the stigma of that flower. Thus pollination takes place. So we came to know that the insects like butterfly, beetles, bee, honeybee, ladybug, wasp, hummingbird, bats are all examples of pollinating agents. There are certain non-living things which act as pollinating agents. Look at the picture. Wind can act as pollinating agent. Pollen grains which are weightless can move through the wind and reach the stigma of a flower. In water plants like Valisneria, pollination taking place through water. Pollen grains flows through the water and stigma of female flower found at the water level. Thus pollination occurs. So pollination took place that is pollen grains from anther reaches stigma of gynoecium. Then what will happen if pollen grains should reach at ovule? So the pollen grains start to grow and elongate through the style that is central axis. The pollen grains elongates and reaches the ovary. Thus the ovule joins with male gamete found inside the pollen grain. This process is called fertilization. So fertilization is the process of fusing of male gamete with ovule and forms a single cell. This fertilized ovule later developed to form seeds. It's a surprising fact, isn't it? All the flowering plants around us undergoes all these processes and forms seeds. So remember, whenever you throw the mango seed inside the mango and all the seeds concealed a tree or a plant inside it, the seeds are hiding a plant inside it. Every flowering plant produces seeds through this complex process. So you should aware of the importance of seeds. The plants may sacrifice much to make a seed. They should make flower. Andrisium and gynoecium produces male and female gametes. Pollinating agents helps for pollination. After pollination, pollen grains grow outwards and reaches to ovule. Then fertilization takes place. This fertilized ovule develops to form seeds. Did you ever see in the flower of rice, wheat or sugar cane? The pollinating agents of these plants are wind. These wind pollinating flowers have certain specialities. The filament is long and loose. It can move. The pollen grains are early exposing. Stigma is feathery and adapted to catch the pollen. There is an activity for today that is activity number one. The first question, what is pollination and fertilization? The second question, complete the activity 
in page number 37 of our science textbook. Okay. In pepper plant, pollination is performed by water, that is dew drops. So, we study today about pollination, fertilization and pollinating agents. So, it's enough for today. Rest in the next class. Okay.